So you can go ahead and put the parentheses if you think you know you're that type of student where you kind of forget the negative and you're like, oh, I just grabbed the number. Like negative 11, whatever, it's 11. Okay, but your answer is going to be trash. So B is negative 11. So that means this is negative 11. So that's the first mistake students make is that because it's minus B and they say the B value is negative, they kind of take it as, oh, B and negative is already there for me. Okay. Um, plus or minus square root B squared negative 11. A is 2. C is 15. A is 2. Okay, hold on, I'm recording. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I'll, I'll solve it by hand. However, if you're good with the cal... Is this okay, you guys? You're right with this? You remember it? Okay, if you're good with the calculator, these calculators will do it all for you in one shot. Now, when you get rejected, I think it might be five and six or six and seven. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, five. Okay, those you're gonna end up with a negative. That's why I have the complex number here. So if you happen to type it in and you get rejected, it's because it's a complex number. You have a negative in the radical and that's why the calculator is rejecting you. If you get rejected, your radical has a negative inside. Okay, unless you made a mistake. All right, what you see is what you type. Fraction, negative, negative 11. Do the plus first, and then you can go back and change it to the negative, the minus, because remember, it's plus minus. Just do the plus first. Square root, negative 11 squared, minus 4, 2, 15, down to to, and you know, if you want to clean up some math along the way, like instead of putting negative 11 squared, you do 121. Instead of 2 times 2, you put 4. Obviously, you guys can clean it up as you like, what you feel comfortable with. Because um, if you do it like this, which is like technically the proper, like you didn't do any kind of mental math, there's a lot of parentheses that you're typing. Okay, you hit equal. I get 3. Go back, 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 all the way back. Delete the positive, hit the subtraction, hit equal, and I get five halves or 2.5. And that's it. Okay. So, if you're comfortable with the calculator, calculator does it all, super time saving, it's perfect, but you should always be able to solve it by hand. Solve it by hand really quick? Or you're okay? Huh? What? Okay. Okay, so then I'll stop the video. For sure for the for five and six because we're gonna end up with a negative, you're you know, you have to solve them by hand.